throughout history, there's always been, like, explanations as to, or definitions, or, um, what the hell am I talking about? And why did my headphones fall off my head? Hey, the amazing Rando! Watch Rando the Great construct sets with his very mind! <laughs> What's up, rascals? Welcome back to Anatomy. Last episode, I went a little bit insane, and we did a few running around of stupidness. Had difficulty picking up a tape. I think I'm a stroke victim in here. But we got it. We listened to it. Then we discovered there's another one, and we found that other one, and we are going to listen to it now. I think. Maybe. Yep. Yep. There we go. The house is one of the key elements that separates modern humanity from its more primitive antecedents. Yep. No other creature goes to such lengths to create lasting, permanent shelter for itself, nor Wait, regards such right. shelters with such reverence and import. Why do human beings of our modern age foster this tremendous sympathy toward their homes? There are many reasons, of course, but perhaps it is due in some small part to seeing them as a reflection of ourselves. Hmm. There's a tape in the downstairs bathroom. There's a bathroom. I hope my brother's not occupying it. I like this. This is giving a... Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Close. There you go. Now, I'm not going to run into you all the time. Hello, bathroom. Yes. Okay. There's the tape. Ah. Oh, I totally just spaced on what I was about to talk about. Oh, yeah. I like the parallels between um, the house, as it's put, and the human body. It's like say that psychologically, the house is an extension of the person who owns it, who, who lives there. And uh, there have all, there, throughout history, there's always been like explanations as to or definitions or um what the hell am i talking about and why did my headphones fall off my head mysteries we may never know but what was i talking about see how scatterbrained i am right now i can't even think of it but, 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 but throughout history there have been countless recordings or yeah, let's go with recordings of of people comparing the house to the human body, saying this is that, this is like this. The main living room is the the where everything breathes, and I don't fucking know. I'm just copying a commercial I heard on the radio once. Hello. I thought I heard something. <laughs> Which is ironic, because I'm doing this whole thing to hear things. Of different context, but still. All right, let's hear what this one has to say. The anatomy of the house is such that this analogy is less superficial than at first it may seem. See, I was analogies, that's what I'm further, talking about. If we were to dissect a house as we might a human cadaver, we would find ourselves able to isolate and describe its various appendages and their functions in exactly. a decidedly anatomical fashion. Exactly. There is even a fair number of direct comparisons to be drawn between those organs of a house and those of a human body. Yeah. See, that's, that's what I was having a very difficult time trying to get to, is that there are... that it is very analogous to compare the human body with the house because they are structures of a similar design. Um, speaking of things of that nature, design and such, that's a bookshelf, not a door. Okay, I gotta find the garage. Where's the garage? I don't know. Close the bathroom door, even though there's no real need for it. Okay, here's the front room. So I'm assuming... Okay, that's the... This is... Okay. Living room slash family room. What about you? No? Okay, you're still locked. So, you. You must be the garage door. 
The door bitch slapped me again! You bastard! Is there a car in here? Or is it just an empty garage? How pathetic is that? You've got all this empty space, and there's... Well, this whole house is empty, except for... Washer and dryer. Where is my tape? I want the tape! Oh. Hi. There you are. I want you. I need you. I love you. And slightly to the left. To the right. And down. And there. There, there. there we go. Okay. That is kind of a pain in the butt. Make where where the reticle does not sit exactly on the um, the 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 device that I'm supposedly trying to pick up. It makes it difficult. And the re the fact that the aiming reticle, as we shall call it, the thing that's supposed to show me where center of the screen is, where most interactable things get interacted with, is nowhere to be found until it's necessary, and it kind of... Why? Anyway, let's hear this one. For example, let us examine the living room. Okay. Often the dominant space of the house is ground level, as well as typically the center of activity in a well-populated home. Very true. The living room is very much the heart of the house. That's why they call it While the living room. The circulates blood to oxygenate the body's extremities. The living room circulates people, activity, <sighs> communication. It is the room most likely to be found beating, as active and vivacious as its name would imply. The comparison is only strengthened when we consider also that the living room is most commonly the room to contain the fireplace, making it additionally a locus of actual physical heat. Okay. There's a tape in the living room. Ah! I see your game now! You're leading me to all these places that you describe in the talking and the thing that of the tape at two. Where's the living room? This is the bathroom, you dingus. You just got associated with the placement of everything in this place. And now you're lost all over again! What is wrong with you? This is the living room. Where might I find my tape? Hello? Tapey tape? By the TV. Ironic! Audio entertainment is next to the video entertainment. The visualization of an audio stimuli. What are you talking about? I'm just making things up again. I don't know what I'm saying. Ah. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme, 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 gimme. Seriously, fucking gimme. There, ooh, there we go. Ha <laughs> ha, had to find the sweet spot. Back to the kitchen. Whoa. Run into the walls. Yes. Yes. Zoom. Okay, okay, okay. I can, I can, I can navigate. I can do this. Stop running through the halls. Little five year old action just going on here. All right, all right. Give me the thingy so I can hear the thingy. It is easy to think of the kitchen and dining room as the stomach or digestive system of a house. So Obviously, is tenuous. that's where you eat the food, contrast, you put the, the food to eat the food later. The bathroom should be immediately obvious. The hallways and corridors of a house are its veins, providing circulation coursing okay. throughout its frame. A staircase bears more than a passing resemblance, both physically and symbolically, to a spine. The windows of a house serve much the same purpose as eyes, and anyone who has ever rounded a bend or a long drive and come suddenly face to face with a tall, dark manor will tell you that it is difficult to shake the impression that the house, through its lightless windows, is a creature capable of vision and intelligence. Cool! A tape on the stairs. We're crawling up your spine now, housey poo. Okay, where? Follow the stairs, there, there, stairs, there, right in the middle. But not my reticle. I gotta find where I can pick it up because this is awkward shit. Ah, I had to be closer. Ah, ah, there we go. Thank you. And quickly, the message! 
speak to me if I can get to the right spot okay okay we can do this we can uh, we know where we're going get back to the kitchen and there now we can do that and listen the bedroom is perhaps the room that most eludes direct comparison in this fashion at a stretch and allowing for a bit of poetic sympathy it might be said that the bedroom is not unlike the human mind or those parts of it which dictate thought and imagination in the bedroom dreams are dreamt passions are ignited epiphanies are experienced in cold sweat at early hours in the bedroom is where people invariably spend the majority of their time though comparatively little of it whilst conscious it depends on the person really but there's a tape in the bedroom so we're going to the bedroom <laughs> yeah. 